do a lot of the time is like use Enigma Jewel plus Terrarion to like ramp out a one ring or a Karn on like turn on turn. Can you do the turn two? So you go turn one. I guess turn one amulet. So then this is the plan. You go land, terrarium, land, jewels, two mana. You have to be like three. But you're gonna play like these on turn three a lot of the time. You're slower. I also I also really like the Forge can cast every non land in the deck. Okay, let me change the basic island art and then we can we can get going. Could you play Demir Aqueduct Overgrowth Chamber? Uh, we have a we have a Haywire Might. Can we make a Bean Golos deck? Yeah, we've already done that. It's pretty good. I we've played it a good amount. I think this deck looks very interesting. I wish I had more time today. What do you deal with Karn? We can Karn for Cityscape Leveler. Can attack with Urza Saga tokens. Okay. So, I'm like, if these were two rockets, we could keep and cycle them for zero. I think we just mulligan. Okay. Okay, we have... We, we have... Beautiful hand. So, we put back Terrarian. Is that is that right? So we put back Terrarian, then we go Island Amulet. The next turn we go Enigma Jewel. Oh, whoa, you can use this to filter oh, only for one mana. Hmm. Never mind. But you can seek the jewel into like both of the abilities. This is turn two forge. Is it? It's it's not, right? It's close. We're like we're I think we're a mana short. Because I can't copy the amulet and play rockets and play jewel, can I? So I'll, I'll, I'll update the box field in a second in between sideboarding. If you turn one jewel, why? Was it, explain to me why turn one jewel is better. I, I'm I'm trying to I'm learning. Like it, it, just type out how I can type cast forge on turn two because I don't see it. Oh, wait, I... Sorry, I think I also messed up. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> uh, I could just play the key here. We don't need... We don't actually need to copy the amulet. Yeah, it's going to be tough to figure out. But also, maybe I was supposed to save the jewel and have, like, double untapped triggers. I was maybe supposed to go amulet, copy... I need to draw a land to go turn three... And then have the jewel be four mana. Okay, they play Besage you. This is good news. I can cast this Mystic Forge next turn. Right? Yeah, so we go Wizards Rockets. <laughs> Untap. Four mana. Filter it through the Wizard Rockets. Play Karn against the uh, Tron deck. Your turn. We can also do the cool um, Voltaic Key untap coding trick next turn. One one Ballista. You can beat that. Everyone's playing Tron. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of green Tron. Alright, undefeated. Deck good. Broke it. Let me get the uh, Mox Field up to date. No lands, no keep. Santa's dying for a land that can actually interplay. I think we have to go to five. Okay, so we'll keep this put back both Terrarians, I guess. 
So it's an interesting hand. See how it plays out. Maybe a little too slow on the draw against Tron anyways. Because we get to go turn three, float a mana, get an amulet, summon growth chamber, three mana, enigma jewel plus one. Obviously, if they just have turn three card, we can go to game three. Can Urza's is mine. All right, you have turn three, Tron. Do you have a card in the Great Creator? Or do you have Ulamog next turn? Both will probably win. I'll take uh, nothing. <laughs> so grab Amulet. Tap the jewel. Filter for blue, blue. I think we just have to play the ring. If we had one more mana this turn. Like if we had been able to play the land, I'd be a little bit more excited here. Play or play, play the land on a real land on turn two. Okay, start to go off. My opponent did nothing last turn. They have six cards in their hand. They, I kind of expect to get Ulamog. Okay. I got a game three. Get to be on the play. Hopefully, don't mold the five. Not cycling rocket playing jewel. You want to play the jewel when the amulet's in play. I think you get. Uh, I guess maybe it's. Yeah, I guess it was better. But we need the rockets to filter the mana. So that's this deck is so weird. I'm gonna keep this. Yeah, so I guess if you only have one amulet, it's better to play the jewel out first. That's on a mold to six. I'm going to lead on rockets, I guess. No, well, I think I'll go Island Jewel Key. Then on turn four, we'll have uh, at least six mana. I guess seven with this. But if I draw another amulet this turn, we hold. Relic still in the deck. Basic Forest, you know, very important card to see in this matchup <laughs> for us. Lotus Field is interesting. I think we're playing it this turn though. So we'll go. Yeah, let's untap the Jewel. Four mana. Another amulet. So I think I think I do play that here to potentially you know play a four drop off the Mystic Forge. Maybe, maybe I guess I should I should have bounced the island though. A little bit of an oopsie there. Seems like we're not going to be wanting for mana. With triple amulet now. I mean, it was bad to exile the forge. I think it was correct. A lot of good cards to hit. Oh, I was scared to besage you. Plays an expedition map. So exile our top card. Finds a Karn. So I have 10 mana. I think I should probably just cat make it make a lot of mana and then cast the card and I should probably be making different colors here. Well maybe I should make blue again in case I draw an extra I mean I already have one blue, I don't know. But I do have a you know a Golos I could tutor up here. Yeah, so my top card is not helpful. If I get Golos, I can spin it, which is nice. 
I could also if I if I had hit any spell on top here, I could Paradox Engine. I guess I could still Yeah, let's let's go Untap the forge. If I if I if I just see a paradox engine on top or a, a castable spell, there's another. I know the other island is underneath. Okay, so I could go, I could stone brain their Tron pieces. I could get a Golos, and then I'd have, I guess, not enough colors to activate. I'm leaning towards stone brain at the moment, especially because we have Oda War to bounce an opposing Karn. I guess I can also put Gigantha in my hand. So Urza's mine. So they do have a Karn. They don't have a land in their hand at the moment. But if they do have Karn, we're going to have the Odawara. Okay, just plays Oblivion Stone. So I think that was their draw for turn. Another land on top. So I think I want to try to go for Paradox Engine. I kind of have to find a Rockets at some point though. Let's 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 do let's do that. Let's go. Make six mana. Tap here. Well, maybe Golos is just better. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to go for uh, Paradox Engine. Just see how this develops. So I don't think it's gonna develop that well. The more I'm looking at it. <laughs> Yeah, because I have no real mana floating, so I can't. Even though I, even though I could like dig kind of deep, I can't actually use this mana for anything at the moment with no rockets. So we kind of just have to pass. Okay, we should got Golos instead. Keep the ring on top. Kind of surprised they're not playing the ballista that's in their hand. Not that it really matters. Okay, well that makes things, you know, incredibly easy. Yeah, we couldn't cast the rockets either. And by incredibly easy, I guess I mean <laughs> we're winning the game in like 10 years from now. Should have floated off the... I Actually, it shouldn't have, it's just... Actually, a waste of time. We 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 could we could be making a lot more mana, but we would just we're just wasting our time if we do. Simply show our opponent the door. Weird first match. I don't know how I'm feeling. Regular on twitch.tv slash aspiring spike. Door to nothingness. Nobody even cares. <laughs> just cat. This is just very normal here. Nothing to see. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, it's just it's just like very normal. I'm gonna amulet, Lotus, Urza Saga, Chromatic Ori for Karn to get. Um, I don't. I mean, Ori doesn't enter tapped. I don't. It's. I have I did play Ori in like that Tron deck the other day, but I think it, I, it is good with the keys. I don't know, it could be good. Cycle Street Wraith, I think in their did they do that in their upkeep? Not sure. So 
So this is maybe going to be the um, somewhat rare expedition map for uh, a Lotus game, since we just have infinite mana, basically. A jewel would be good. Draw, we could play it and then use it to sack the map. Bounce lane would be good. Lotus would be good. A wizard's rockets would be... Not sure. Not sure how I'd feel about that. Because right now I don't like that we... Let's see. So if I... If, yeah, if I... If... We'll see what we draw. Obviously we have... like I think we could draw a jeweled lotus... No, I don't think Jeweled Lotus lets me go off next turn. A Bounce Land or Lotus Field would. We can map for one of those, but we're a little too slow. And if, if I put a Living Ends this turn, if they Living in this turn, then I have to, I have to like, you know, get going next turn. So I guess Amulet, Lotus, Bounce Land, all win. Is there anything I can draw? Let's see. that. So if I copy Amulet end of here, float, float a mana... I, I'm debating the pros and cons of like copying now versus not copying. If I if I don't copy now, I get rewarded if I draw, I think, another amulet. Is that true? No, because I still can't play amulet in sack map. So what is my opponent tanking on so hard? Urn of the Godfire as a mana filter. Yeah, we, we need the mana filters to be like one mana filters instead of two. I don't know if there's any good ones that do that. Could be a pyramid deck too. Okay, literally, what are they tanking on here? Yeah, Astrolabe would be nice. I, although, probably too difficult to cast, to be honest. Yeah, Uber eats up the door, huh? But hard casting for us because I have a blue card? I don't know. I, I it's They've been thinking so long, it's, it appears that it's probably just an IRL thing. I still don't know if I'm copying Amulet or not. <laughs> Four minutes later, Cash Rattle will see fucking shit. I guess I do get an extra turn. Yeah. Unless, unless they have a Violent Outburst. Dead to Violent Outburst. Don't think I can beat a Force of Negation. Grief Pitch Living End. This is lethal without Outburst. Eight. Right, six. Twelve. This is 18, right? Eight plus six, 14. Oh, wait. No, it is lethal. Sorry, I thought it was 18. Isn't there like a strictly better prophetic prism though? We what was the name of that card? Maybe that card is better than Terrarian. It's like a prophetic prism you can activate multiple times a turn. Yeah, energy refractor. Thank you. No, not the snow. No, the one that's banned. It filters for two. It filters two into one. Okay. Damn it. Come on, this would be totally fair if it was just <laughs> one. Damn. It. Yeah, sorry, I thought it was I thought it was just strictly better. Like ETB draw a card. One mana filter. Okay. Golden egg. Does that work? I mean that, that one taps, right? You you want it you want it to just like permanent filter. This is also sacrifices. Yeah, the Terrarian's a lot better. Wizard's Rockets is like surprisingly so much better than all the other ones. Too good for Popper. I I I hear you. I hear you. Lantern doesn't Lantern doesn't work. We're not looking to just fix our mana with our lands. We're trying to filter Enigma Jewel mana into mana that functions. You can use filter lands. Filter lands don't work with Enigma Jewel. They only work with Omen Hawker, which is, and they also don't cast either of the card. 
Yeah, Urn of the Godfire also is two mana to filter. Turian Sex as well. Yeah, but Turian lets you filter two of the mana instead of just one, and it costs one instead of two. It's much better. Kind of the same hand. Well, this hand's like we draw. This, this hand can draw a bounce land or a jewel and be insane. What did they pitch? They pitched another grief. I really wish the the four mana artifact that like maybe power stones could work. Maybe, maybe it still can. Uh, that would be so cool if we could end up like having that card be like a big part of the stack. Just seems like a little too bad. Although maybe we could go more. You would have to go like a Simblance Anvil build. Simblance Anvil with Grinding Station, I think, for that that card to have a chance. It's probably too many moving pieces. Why doesn't Jewel work with filter lands? Well, the only filter lands in, mod in modern require colored mana to filter with. So, and Enigma Jewel only activates for colorless. So, if, if the Odyssey filter lands were legal, it would be something we could try. There's a there's a, one from Lord of the Rings that lets you cast legendary spells, which we do have. A, we have a good amount of them, so. So, like, we could maybe be playing that card, like the Hall of the Whatever. Really getting zero mana spelled, huh? Storage counterlands. Storage counterlands with jewels kind of hot. There's a lot of root maze suggestions today. I think root maze is pretty bad. Mana Silex. Wait, is this legal? It's kind of a shitty card, but... It is legal. Oh, it taps. Never mind. <laughs> it taps. Man, they really, they really know how to get you. Okay. This, 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 do the storage lands require colorless mana to... Like, how do, how do the storage lands work again? I can't remember any of the names. There's also the one from... There's also the colorless storage land. Okay, no living in yet. Calciform pools, thank you. Archmage, good to see ya. Yeah, it's been so long since I've seen any of them. So you can only put one storage counter on a time. It's kind of nice if you have two of them, though. And then, it, does Mage Ring Network work the same? Mage... Or is that one, like, a little bit better today? Come to five? Yeah, Cataracts is like a huge investment for like plus one mana. It's not that exciting. Unfortunately. So I kind of need to keep the Mystic Forge. Put back a growth chamber. Yeah, the, pro the problem with Re Refractor, I mean, it's. It's. The fact that it's like. It's such a big payoff to make your Enigma Jewel just like tap for one mana. I like, what's nice about Wizard's Rockets, it, it, like, you can play, like, you have two amulets and a dig with Jewel, make four mana, and filter all of it into real mana with your rockets. If, but you, you, if you could play, like, eight Wizard Rockets, I'd be pretty excited. Okay, the mandatory, uh, a minute and a half before we get going. Forest Shadow Spear. We need a Forest Shadow Spear. On it, please, please. Yeah, we have four rocket for Terrarian, but it's just I don't know that it's enough. All right, I'm gonna use the restroom. I'll be right back.
What's up? It's me, your friend Aspiring Spike. What's up? It's me, your friend Aspiring Spike. We're still here? Ah, come on! All the slowest opponents today. Oh. Opponents back. When you get two opponents like this back to back, I just go crazy, dude. Just go insane. <laughs> yeah, at least everyone likes the spike raging. my shirt it's uh 499 costco rotisserie chicken <laughs> you need us to have matching copies man of fortune it's one one of black yeah it just doesn't seem like there's really going to be anything for us Another amulet. So we get to go Lotus into Mystic Forge with six mana floating. Make Semblance Anvil, Enigma Jewel, 12 Signets a thing. Yeah, it is kind of cool to play the signets with like the, with like the semblance anvil engine cuz you just you get to go um Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. So we go Enigma Jewel. Four mana. Four mana. I'll make one more blue, one more green, two more blue. Green for Gigantha here. Find Voltaic Key. So I think I just untapped the Forge now. I could I could play Terrarion and Sack now. It's kind of better to wait if we hit another Jewel. It's also nice in these spots, you just hit a ring and you're good to go most of the time. Yeah, just untap and see if we find anything else. No, okay. Your turn. Yeah, I've got I've got jewel brain pretty bad right now though, so I'm gonna keep we're gonna keep cooking, I think. See if we can get something better. So yeah, the Simblitz Anvil idea is interesting with more Signets. Plus Mystic Forge, where you get to like play your Signets or generating mana off the top. I'm not sure. It's a lot of pieces you need, I guess. The Signets are worse if you don't play Omen Hawker, but like Omen Hawker is just like like we saw in the other build, just makes you so much more fragile to removal. Yeah, we get to, we get to we 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 actually just get to show our opponent the door without doing anything else. Could Anvil make it a paradoxical outcome deck? I I think I'm very unlikely, but yeah, it it seems like it'd be hard to like one outcome over like Ring or Mystic Forge or Karn as like your four mana card advantage card, especially because you can't cast uh, outcome off your. Forge. I know there's another lotus on top.
Yeah, we are a door deck. Very casual. Nobody cares. <laughs> door to nothingness. Just, just regular day at the office. Yeah, old news. <laughs> Nobody cares. Yeah, another day at the content factory. Not the, not even close to the most interesting thing apart about the stack. This time last year, would you believe the door could be old? Um, I, I when when did we first start playing Timeless Lotus? It may have been over a year ago at this point. I don't think I don't think Timeless Lotus was a this year brew, was it? Maybe it was. I'm sure, someone's got better memory than me and can remember. It was this year. Yeah, this has been a really weird and long year. <laughs> This has been like the longest year of my life. Play scam next, okay? I will for sure. Just stay watching all. I will play all of your pet decks next. Just watch this league. I think it was not too long before PT testing. Maybe. This hand is really broken if we draw a land. Let's mulligan, though. <laughs> so, Alright, this hand is really broken and it has lands in it. Wow. Isn't that crazy how that works? Although, I'm not sure. Maybe... I'm not sure if I could just... If I just want to play ring on turn two or if I want... We'll, we'll see how, how those things develop. They get a hangerback walker. One of the worst cards in this matchup. So what's the heuristic here? If we draw action, we copy amulet. If we don't, we just play, or as we play ring next turn. Could be bad if they have might. It could be bad if they have might, yeah. <laughs> could be bad if they have nature's claim also, oh no. Okay, but this lets us play the one ring next turn. That's good. So they have Hangerback Walker, four mystery cards. First year two with Thomas Hamlet seven months ago. I really feel like it was a last year deck, but it's cool. As Jewel play like Soaring. I mean, it's not as good as Soaring, <laughs> but it has been pretty good. And so, it's not, it is actually it is better than Soul Ring sometimes in this deck because if you have two amulets in play, you can make four mana the turn you play it. Six if you have three. I would rather have Soul Ring though. <laughs> Kind of funny they're on Nature's Claim instead of Haywire Might, or like, like I, I would basically never play any number of Nature's Claim in my scale stack before like the fourth Haywire Might. They're probably not dying this next turn. Amulet's a good pickup. I think I just play Amulet, copy it twice. And then, knowing one of my opponent's cards is Hangerback Walker, I guess, they, I guess may, maybe we're dying here. It's like Hangerback Walker is like six counters, seven. They're just they're still pretty far away from killing me. Is there a version with Outcome? I don't. Outcome is so slow and weak and like easy to play against. I have a hard time imagining outcome I can make it into a draft, but it's on my radar. So this is nine damage. If they sack the Zabaz, it ends up being um, thirteen, right? Or twelve? Because they don't have the Zabaz power. Thirteen with the Ozolith sack. Yeah, if they had a one-man Ozlith, we'd be dead. It does seem like this build is maybe more resilient to, like, the disenchants than... Or, I mean, for sure, right? Like, just being able to, like, 
get our amulet disenchanted. Oh boy. <laughs> we untap and do this. It's pretty good. I guess I, I I guess I play my Mystic Forge before I tap the ring. I do have a Golos in the sideboard, so it's like just maybe we card for Golos here. This doesn't cost us much since we have two blue mana floating for any top decked Enigma Jewels. Also, also Enigma Jewel has infinite combos in this deck too. So something I keep forgetting is that a big part of the idea is that you can go infinite with this and Voltaic Key. Okay, uh, play the key. Win the game. <laughs> Timeless Lotus is like Enigma Jewel, but it actually taps for mana. Never mind, I take it back. Okay, it, it, I I do like this. This is like this is something for sure. Is it going to be like a playable modern thing? I don't know, but th literally better than Soul Ring. Get my <laughs> content screenshot. Literally better than Soul Ring. <laughs> I've maybe kept the wrong jewel there. It doesn't really matter. I didn't. Okay, all the Mystic Forges. I mean, I could untap the ring. I, I do need to be like somewhat careful about fizzling. I just, I mostly am very good on mana. Okay, now I have found a Karn to show my opponent the door again. Kind of funny that Enigma Jewel can't filter into door mana. I don't know, I mean, we're two and one. <laughs> I have no idea what to think about this. It feels like a good first draft, though. It feels like a very interesting first draft. That will likely go through a few iterations, which will be fun to explore. be too slow I would guess can I keep this one don't want to put back Terrarian kind of need like I need all seven cards kind of have to put it back So we can go Odawara, Enigma Jewel, Copy Amulet. And then we can play. Turn through. We want to draw also Karn for Crypt is a little slow. Hmm. So I've done things so We're two and one. You know, this is definitely the, the crash test or whatever, but. Test drive. Should play Jewel first to copy Amulet with its mana. I can, the the jewel enters untapped next turn. I also can't cast it off this for what it's worth, but this enters it'll un, enter untapped, and I can still do this. This is better against like top deck grief. I like the I like that you can filter the man into gardens too. It feels pretty nice. So I don't have an ensnaring bridge, not that I could cast an ensnaring bridge here. To 
and yeah, there's there's twenty power, so I I'm I'm just gonna get a Tormod's Crypt and like not and play around Mini Nodi not having the the Vile not first, and then lose if the Mini Nodi does. Okay, lost the die roll. Yeah, the new cards aren't in the um the bot yet, unfortunately. I like Jewel Hawker with Nykthos and Pioneer. There's a similar lack. There's a similar lack lands and more generic decks. Yeah. Yeah, this with Nykthos and Pioneer is kind of cool. I agree. Plus Hawker. We've done that in the past. But with Training Grounds, which always felt like a little bit worse. Could try to like work on that deck again. I would love to play Mono Blue Devotion in Atlanta. That's like my favorite deck. Could do the Benthic Biomancer Wizard class combo. Um, let's go to five. Okay, pretty good five. Key Ring probably. Hard, hard to evaluate how the deck's been feeling. Like you know it. Some extent, it's an ammo to vigor deck, so it can do pretty busted stuff. And we lost a match to Living End. We're down a game against Living End. These, the, you know, they have so many zero mana spells. Like these games are also like hard to evaluate. Why not whole crypt and respond to Cascade? I, I have to cast the crypt <laughs> in order to use it. Your <laughs> brain's firing on too many cylinders. How uh, individual fits here, so you 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 can filter the mana with wizard rockets and terrarian is the idea. It also, like lets you you have a few extra uses for it, but it's mostly that. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna slam the card again and get violent outbursted again. Just tough to beat Force Negation, plus Violent Outburst. Yeah, but maybe he doesn't have both. Takes my key. Alright. I guess I could have drawn the ring, actually. Ring into perfects, maybe. Should say Enigma in the stream title. Is that a meme? Yeah, the Enigma Jewel. Did I misspell it? I forgot the I. Right, with the I in the wrong spot. Spelling Andes. This may be an Inventor's Fair kill on turn three, or get the one ring <laughs> off Inventor's Fair. Thank you, Jacob. Yeah, I feel like the brews have been pretty fun so far. It's been a very fun set to brew with. There's just so much stuff going on. So I could try to resolve Jewel here. If I felt like I wanted to make a construct next turn. Which I might I might just make a construct next turn. If I feel like they're holding up uh counterspell mana. Well I guess I could have got an island. I could have made two constructs if I just played this first. I was thinking maybe they would spell pierce the the key. No, I just have a lot of typos in the stream titles. I yeah. It's lexic. Yeah, Tide Binder's pretty good in Pioneer too. I'm just worried about like having like only only one blue pip for a three drop, but I think that's okay. Okay, so that gives me a lot of mana. Yeah, I think I think what my plan is here. Just make a construct. Get another amulet. 
Has to wizard rockets, which they'll never counter. Or they probably shouldn't counter. And then pass back, and I don't, I don't know. Maybe this, maybe this is a little awkward too. Cause like they were kind of tapped out, but I didn't have like, like if I just break on like my wizard rockets draw, I don't know that I can play the ring through spell pierce. But maybe I should have calculated a little bit more. Maybe we'll just cast Gigantha here. All right, let's attack for six. And the upheaval list with thoughts of Reckoner or Bankbuster. I mean, it's just like kind of low power level. You're not really a creature deck so much. But yeah, maybe that is. Maybe you just play that over like the upheaval stuff. Seems a little underpowered. I don't know. Okay, so we have four, five, six, seven, eight. I kind of like just cast Gigantha here. <laughs> uh. Maybe I'll draw something off the wizard rockets that'll change my mind. I guess if I, with the key I have, key is like plus one mana here. Okay, so I have seven, eight, nine. I could also I could also just cast Timeless Lotus. If they spell pierce that I can resolve if they counter spell I can resolve Mystic Forge, but if they have a, if they have counterable spell pierce, it's pretty bad. And like Gigantha is so nice because it just like they it, it, it's either gonna eat a counter or it's gonna present lethal next turn. <laughs> and they don't have delirium. Okay, subtlety pitch spell snare. I guess I didn't play around subtlety very well. I'm gonna, not gonna not gonna keep the Gigantha, I think. What would y'all what would y'all have done there? Oh to war, okay, so shields likely down. Yeah, nice nice two for zero. Companion's still broken as it turns out. Timeless Lotus first with key up, yeah. I was a little bit worried about it getting countered, but seems like that likely would have been totally fine. Oh, baby. So another Lotus Field underneath. That's happened a bunch today that like the card we have is underneath. Um, so let's play another jewel and use this mana on the Inventor's Fair. Better than better than Sol Ring again. Grab a one ring. Still nothing helpful underneath. Okay, so I can use this to filter for two mana here. <laughs> There's the Gigantha <laughs> that we shuffled in. <laughs> Hello. He's so funny if we end up casting it here. So I can untap Lotus or Ring or Forge, but it's basically always Ring instead of Forge. Okay, so now we untap the Lotus, play another Lotus. This, I don't know why it's so funny to me to see Gigantha just chilling on the top like that. Very rare that that's where <laughs> it is. So if we brick here, we are gonna just cast Gigantha, I guess.
Although the key gives me a lot of the key is a really good hit here. Okay, so we bricked, or there's nothing on top. Maybe I should. I think I'm just gonna sack a rockets for zero. So I don't. I don't think I need the second rockets. Don't think I can want to spend four mana on the forge, or at least I think it's probably just better to do this because if I end up mana to cast it, it's kind of the same. Kind of, well, maybe not. Another amulet. Okay, so kind of have to untap the ring again. Draw four this time. There's a Karn. Which I think is going to be a little short here. Could just get coding. Don't have a key to get. If I had if I had a key here, we could keep going. I might always grab a leveler. Got a few cards in our hand, huh? Yeah, a quarter monitor could be good too. Less keys, maybe better. Probably better. Yeah, still not a bad turn. They maybe they they'll, they'll, there's a good chance they can counter my first win con. We have all four Voltaic keys in play. Okay, let's get let's get the door. They can't stop me from crafting jewel. Oh yeah, we can we can we can craft Enigma jewel on door to nothingness. I think that's I think that's how we'll go for the win here. Oh, come on, <laughs> you not you could surely have countered door to nothingness here. Fine, we'll just. Tide, yeah, Tidebinder on our, our door would be, uh, that would be, uh, something. Yeah, I know we could still craft, but it's just kind of BM to, like, waste 30 seconds crafting first. Have I tied binder to Lotus yet? Why why would you tie binder Lotus? Like my own Lotus? I guess we could do that at some point. I feel like Sages is worse than manifold key. Sages goes infinite with timeless Lotus. It's just like an easy two card infinite mana. Can you tie binder Lotus? You can tie binder your own Lotus field trigger to not sacrifice two lands. Don't tie binder field out second. No, no, no. Tie binder doesn't turn off. Um, it doesn't turn off activated abilities of lands, and uh, it only turns off activated abilities of artifacts, creatures, planeswalkers. I think. Lose the sex roof. I no. The tie tie binder doesn't turn off all abilities of lands. It just it just counters it. So like like if you tie binder an Urza saga, you only stop like it, it from getting one ability. It still it still does everything else. Yes, it will. No, read tie binder. Read tie binder. I promise it doesn't work. It's it it says, I'll, I'll pull it up. Yeah, thank you. 
When it enters the battlefield, counter up to one target activated trigger ability, so you can counter the Lotus Field sack too. If the ability is an artifact creature or planeswalker, that permanent loses all abilities. Lotus Field is not one of those types, so it keeps its abilities. Next we have five mana, but their counter spell shield goes up. Oh, this is cool that we get to now cast the one ring through a blood moon. I like that a lot. As far as like points for this deck go. Still not like we're in amazing shape or anything. Yeah, it's it's a weird card. It's a new card. It's like obviously totally fine to not understand how it works. Well, they don't have Delirium either. They, they can probably get it pretty easy though. So probably always playing Lotus Field here. I could maybe Expedition Map for Odavora to bounce the Blood Moon. Could be a little too slow. And I guess I can I can get the Odawara now. The next turn I can go play Lotus Field. I can go play Lotus Field for turn, tap Enigma Jewel, uh, Lotus Voltaic Key Island to bounce, and then I have eight mana after that. Playing Lotus Field with Blood Moon to play? Yeah, I, uh, see, see how I've played the Lotus Field and the trigger didn't uh, stack? Or uh, maybe you're just, are you just adjusting the line? Because you don't have to sacrifice lands with the Blood Moon in play. I think if you get rid of the Blood Moon, it, it's, you know, it's a Lotus Field. So we're not dead to a lightning bolt, which is good. Or just delay, just just adjusting it. Yeah, it's fine. Just make sure you understand the interaction. Uh, I guess saving the voltaic key to untap timeless lotus might be right. We, ca we kind of need to draw an amulet off the one ring. Or I guess we just draw another ring. Uh, I mean, if this means they don't have any counter magic up, I guess I'm okay with this. Although if I bounce the Blood Moon, then all of a sudden they're gonna so they, they put Counter Spell into their hand, and they but they don't play a land to be able to play Counter Spells. So this is this is gonna be a very interesting turn. Let's see what we draw for turn. We draw a card in the Great Creator. So I can Odawara the Blood Moon and then have eight mana available. I could Odawara Narset. That probably can never be the line. Ballistic and deal with Narset. I think I'm just going to die if I do that. Karn for Ballista. Like, I can kill the Nar. I, I can't. I can't. I only Ballista for two. I can't quite Karn for Paradox Engine, right? Yeah. Or Filbury Sages. I think I probably don't have enough to get out of this because of the Narset. Hmm. Karn, Animate Ring, and Swing. Yeah, I mean, I can I can bounce the Blood Moon, cast card, and get a ring, but then they just replay Blood Moon. So I can animate the ring, animate the ring, attack, but and then and then what? Then I have the Volcate T is tapped for extra mana, or or I have two extra mana with an untapped Voltaic Key. Doesn't seem to do enough. Doesn't seem to do enough. 
Resetting ring seems important unless you can just win. Yeah, but I think I'm gonna lose if I if I if I take that line. They just replay the Blood Moon and then I'm not in like any better position. There there is a second Odawara in the deck, but I won't have a way to search it up. This is a tough, tough spot. I don't have enough mana to like Odawara the Narset and like try to draw into Enigma Jewel plus plus like sorry, plus rockets plus amulet. I don't know. It's, I think I might just go to game three. Karn for Might. I can't I don't have I can't activate Might. Yeah, I don't really understand what Might does. Like my only play is like car is like bounce the blood moon, Karn for another ring, and then die. No, Manama doesn't help. Play Mystic Forge, look for Amulet. I think I think I'm just gonna concede. I don't think we have any like realistic lens to win. Yeah, bounce Narset draw, I scoop. I, I think I just scoop first, but I guess I could have bounced the Narset first. And I, I, I literally don't think there's a series of cards that gets me out of it, though. Karn EE. -E. Karn EE and one. I mean, it doesn't put me in great shape because I, I, I'm i also going to one with the ring in play. Yeah, I, I, I guess Karn EE and one was like, dot, like almost definitely still lose this game, but not literally 0%. We'll just get game three on the play. No, we had enough mana to. If we bounced Blood Moon, we could have eaten and popped. Uh, probably mulligan this hand. Uh oh. Yeah, we, we had eight mana after we bounced the Blood Moon. Okay, I like this hand at least. So back Terrarian for sure. Like a second wizard's rockets. Hand definitely needs to dodge a blood moon. Card for second ring and pass. If, if we card, if we just uh, we said this probably ten times or something, but just carding for second ring and passing doesn't really accomplish anything. Like they're just going to replay the blood moon, and then I still have Narset in play. Oh yeah, there's, yeah. There's no E. That's right. There's no E in the sideboard. It's Ratchet Bomb instead. So we could have like untapped it with the key, maybe, and popped it. The Ratchet Bomb or the Silex. Same thing, I guess. If we get Ragavan Blood Moon. You know, good beats. We're going for Map or Amulet. We go for Map if we don't draw a Bounce Lander Lotus Field. And then we play Inventor's Fair Sack it. Sorry. That's what I meant to do. Got turkey brain, I guess. Fuck. <laughs> I mean, we it's okay. We just try to draw it, but... Not a, not a great time to... Turkey brain. Hope they don't have EE. Yeah, you'd be bad. Enigma Jewel would have been great draw. That is what's nice about the island, I guess, is Enigma Jewel is plus six mana. That lets me timeless lotus. So curse you Ragavan, I guess. Get a steam vents. Untapped. It's gonna be very tough to to win this game if they just have a counter spell. And it seems very unlikely they don't just have a counter spell. Or worse. Okay, going up to 17. Draws a Mystic Forge. Just gonna go ahead and pop this for zero. We could make a, a second blue, it just doesn't really matter. Nama is kind of an interesting land to draw. Excel's an Odawara. If 
finds Blood Moon. So my so if I draw exactly Enigma Jewel here, I think we could win. Oh no, we don't have the rockets in play anymore. I don't know. I mean, I can stick it out still. We have to draw uh, non Urza Saga land into non Urza Saga land and have them not have like a Murktide or second counter spell. Grab a Fable. I'm pretty dead here. Cube is better. Happy two years. Yeah, maybe we should be cubing right about now. Fourth amulet. I'm gonna pack it in. I think. Okay. Uh, I'm done for today. I have uh, some people coming over for friends given. Uh, no stream for me tomorrow. Yeah, no stream for me tomorrow. I'll be back on Monday.